Thank you for, uh, for coming today. Uh, my name is Shiloh Knapp. I'm the chair of the United Way Young Leaders Society. And on behalf of everybody, I want to thank you for coming. I also want to thank our sponsors. I brought notes up here so I wouldn't forget everybody. So, uh, Alliant Energy, uh, Cedar Rapids Bank and Trust, Mercy Medical Center, Paulson Electric Company, and PEC Communications. So, big thank you for all of them putting this in the um, A little bit about the Young Leader Society. Um, we are a group within the United Way, the people 40 and under that donate $250 or more to the United Way. We have uh, some main functions that we support, which is mostly geared towards early childhood education. Um, our, our primary, uh, the primary things that we are uh, sponsoring are the Babies and Books, which is a program that provides a, a book and information uh, with important resources to all new parents uh, born at Mercy or St. Luke's in Cedar Rapids. We also support the Red Ahead program, um, which is a program that guides parents in helping their children age zero to five develop language skills. And also the Play and Learn of East Central Iowa, and that's a program um, that helps. Uh, it, it's a program that allows you to bring your chi uh, children in and, and play with other children, geared for people where maybe they don't have a uh, structured daycare center that they take their children to so it gives them the opportunity to take their kids in and get activities with other children. So here today as well um, I'm going to introduce Tiffany Green and her daughter Rylan who have taken advantage of the Red and Head program and so I just want her to speak to everybody about her experience and uh, how it helped her out. So everybody welcome Tiffany. I started reading to Ryland when she was born, and then uh, we started the program uh, with the, the Red Ahead program when she was about six months of old, years of old, age, sorry. <laughs> and um, we've had a chance to learn a lot of things. Um, every time we would go to um, a group, we would be given information um, to, you know, things that we could do at home. Um, you know, some things like, uh, talk about everyday routine with your kids and just kind of getting them used to that. Um, and that kind of really helped Rylan a lot with um, her everyday talking, you know, please, thank you, those types of things. Um, rhyming, um, so we do a lot of rhyming. Uh, we do a lot of things with um, stuffed animals. She loves to make her little stuffed kitty talk. Um, and talking in different voices. Um, and then one of the things that I thought was really hard to learn was that it's okay to let the kids read books out of order. I like to go in order and <laughs> she likes to just turn pages as she will. <laughs> um, and you know, the, the, as a, a young kid it was kind of nice they taught, you know, just kind of leaving books out even though, you know, she's not old enough to be able to pick up a book by herself and read. The more that a book is just sitting out, you know, even when she was a baby, she would just maybe chew on the corner of it, but she still had the chance to turn the pages, and, you know, now uh, she gets up in the morning, the first thing she does is run and go grab her books and sit down by herself and start reading, so that really helps out with that. Um, I think they they have a, a program where you uh, fill out a questionnaire, it's the ages and stages, and that was really helpful to me. Um, just to make sure that she was on track at her age level doing the things that she needed to do. Um, the play and learns that we went to um, are really fun because she gets a chance to play with other kids her age. Um, it's also nice for parents, um, you know, you get a chance to talk with some of the other parents and maybe get some advice or, you know, if you have a question you need it answered. Um, the one thing that's really important about that is she has to share with other kids because at home we don't really get that chance. So you have to share your toys with other kids. And it's nice because other parents can also parent her as well. So she learns that not only does she have to listen to me, but she has to listen to other parents as well um, when they're telling her, you know, don't hit, don't do this, you know, you should be doing this. So it's kind of um, 
both of them are great programs. We love to go to both of them. I think uh, the funnest part is we get free books and we get a chance to do a lot of things with other kids. And um, the last thing I will say, um, I read a statistic that there are um, about 13 million children in the U.S. and probably only 48% of those kids will actually be read to tonight. So I say to everybody, read your kid a story before bed tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Neighbor about how great this program is because it is certainly 